Hello, my name is Carlo Tura, and as part of my PIDP 3240 class, I would like to teach you how to grow a beautiful lawn. If you follow the steps outlined in this presentation, you will have a beautiful lawn and you will certainly be the talk and envy of the neighborhood. Let me show you an unhealthy lawn. This yard is truly green and will not require watering in the summer. Why? Because it is covered in moss and moss does not require any watering to survive. To kill moss, we apply a product called moss control. The bag on the right is a granular moss control and we use a lawn spreader to apply the moss control to your lawn. On the left is a liquid moss control. It contains the same ingredients as the granular but also contains 5% nitrogen, which turns your grass a dark green color. Once the moss control has been applied to your lawn and the moss turns black, we now know it is dead. A power raker is used. A power raker readies the lawn for new and healthy growth of the grass by removing dead moss, dead grass, also known as thatch, and weeds. This is what the underside of a true power raker looks like. The tines spin vertically to tear out the dead moss and dead grass that is left in your lawn. Although the bed is adjusted vertically, this machine will do less damage to your yard than the power raker that is attached to your lawnmower. After you have power raked your yard and raked up and removed your moss, the next step in having a beautiful lawn is to aerate. An aerator is a machine that punches holes in your lawn to allow air, fertilizer, and new soil to penetrate down to the grass roots and give your lawn a healthy start for the new season. This is what the front end of an aerator looks like. A gasoline engine drives the large tire at the front of the machine. The large tire is filled with water that repacks the dirt that has been pulled up by the power raking process. This is what your yard will look like after it has been power raked and aerated. Now you have some choices. You can leave it the way it is and take your chances to look okay for the springtime, or you can do a little more work to make your lawn look great. The next step in having a beautiful lawn is to overseed. Overseeding is simply applying fresh grass seed to bare patches of dirt. This type of grass seed is good for sun and shade. It's what's known as a mixture blend. This is most commonly used for the homes in the lower mainland region of Vancouver. The next step in having a beautiful lawn is to fertilize. The numbers listed on the front of the bag are in this order, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Therefore, this bag contains 19% nitrogen, 2% phosphorus, and 18% potassium. Looks terrible, right? Well, not for long. If you overseed with grass seed, add fertilizer, and top dress your yard, and wait approximately three weeks before you cut your grass, you will have a beautiful lawn. In this photo, my neighbor has top dressed their yard. Top dressing is applying a half inch layer of new topsoil to your lawn. This adds a thin layer of nutrient rich soil to your yard and gives your grass an energy boost. This is what you end up with. You will be the talk and envy of the neighborhood. All of your neighbors will be looking over the fence wishing they had done the same thing as you. With the grass growing very fast, you now have to use a lawnmower to cut your grass. This is my Honda commercial self-propelled mower. The blade is operated via a clutch so that when I let go of the handle, the blades stop spinning, although the engine keeps running. This is a very good all-around mower. Cuts anything and picks up all the grass clippings. This is the underside of my lawnmower. Unfortunately, the blade is quite dull and I have to get it sharpened. The reason for having a sharp blade 
is so the blade actually cuts the blades of grass rather than tearing and damaging the blades of grass. The next step in having a beautiful lawn is performing lawn maintenance. Lawn maintenance is critical for those of you who enjoy having a beautiful lawn. Unfortunately, our lawns are continuously invaded by weeds such as clover, dandelions, and other types of mysterious weeds. To keep weeds under control, we apply herbicides. It is very important to follow the manufacturer's direction when applying any type of herbicide. These are the two of the more common types of herbicides. The container on the left is a Later's Weed Be Gone, and it is used to kill weeds such as dandelions. The container on the right is a Later's herbicide and will kill chickweed, clover, and thistles. This is a liquid herbicide sprayer. Please follow the manufacturer's safety directions. Fill the container with water. Add your herbicide as directed on the herbicide container. Pump the handle to create pressure in the tank. Then use the wand to spray the weeds on the grass. Within 24 hours, you will notice weeds starting to die. Remember I asked you how to make your lawn look beautiful? Well, we're not done yet. Late in the fall, around late November, I apply a product called lime. Lime is applied to lawns to change the soil pH value. Lime takes years to break down in the soil and change the pH value. Most people apply lime at the wrong time of year. The best time to apply lime is in the fall. The winter rains have four months to dissolve the lime and the lime has time to soak into the ground and be more effective. These are the different types of lime available. Burned lime, dolomitic limestone, ground limestone, hydrated lime, and pelletized limestone. Each type of lime will react differently in changing the soil pH value. So use the type appropriate for you. I would like to thank the following for providing me information. Darren Wallagrocki, owner of Fraser Valley Landscaping in Chilliwack, Arts Nursery, the City of Surrey. If you follow these directions, you will have a beautiful lawn and be the envy of the neighborhood. Thank you for watching this presentation.